Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing The Adventures of Cato Boy. Damn. I haven't played this game in so long. Well, <clears throat> uh, so a friend told me about this game and it is really disturbing. Like, I tried playing it once and it scared me to death. Like, it's so disturbing. And today we're going to be playing it through. I mean... But let's read the warning first. <clears throat> By reading this disclaimer, you understand that this game is not suitable for those under 16 or individuals who are easily disturbed or suffer from the anxiety. There are loud sounds and flashing images in this game that sh that may trigger epileptic seizures. Damn, epileptic seizures! Please consult with a medical professional if you experience any symptoms of, ep of epilepsy. I'm not epileptic, and I am under sixteen. Yeah, <coughs> I'm thirteen to be exact. The game will act strangely at times and perform unusual actions. Do not panic. This game cannot harm your system in any way. Please read the, the readme.txt for more information. <clears throat> Music belongs to Sega, Nintendo, and everyone else quoted. Sound effects are royalty free or made in audacity from resources in the public domain. Once you've read the above, press enter to continue. Even though, I, even though I read this thing, I'm still not 100% ready to do this, like, for real, but, I mean, we, we gotta do this. The soundtrack is kind of catchy, you know? It reminds me of a, um, it reminds me of a, like a, almost a Mario game. Wait, how do I... Oh, there we go. The arrow keys. Oh, this game gets progressively more disturbing, so... I, uh, let's go play in Spring Hills. Okay, so you play by using the arrow keys. Be careful. If you fall over one of those platforms, you'll need to start over. Press enter and select restart room to start over. Now look, I'm not really experienced in, in this game, so I'll probably fall over a few times. Let's go get a few crystals. There are still two. That we need to get. And one more. Oh, they're called cat biscuits. Who came up with a name for that? I don't know. Let's go to the next level. As far as I remember, nothing like changes up until like the third level i think <clears throat> okay so so far so good Th this level is a little bit harder Okay, this is a, a little hard. We still need to get five cat biscuits.
uh, another two remaining, of course. Wait, is there like a compartment up, up there? Is there a biscuit there? No, there's not. What about here? Probably. No. Two more cat biscuits, so it's not this way. Come on, where's the fourth cat biscuit? I think we need to go more towards this way. There we go. And then one more. I think I, I, I'm I'm suspecting that it might be. There we go. There we go. Now we can into the like the spooky stuff <coughs> you'll like the rest I think this is where like the horror aspect of this game kind of escalates a little bit this is the part where it starts to get progressively more and more scary But we'll see. Since I haven't played the whole game, and I haven't even gotten to like the really scary parts. And to be honest with y'all, I, I get pretty easily scared. Like, I'm not one of those, like, you know, like, uh, uh, FNAF jump scares don't really. Five Nights at Freddy's jump scares don't really scare me, but they kind of do startle me a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, boy, come on, boy, come on, boy. I swear, like, last time. Like, when my friend downloaded this game onto my PC. I almost thought that this game was a virus. And I called him like, Dude, did you just install a fucking virus onto my PC? And he was like, Dude, chill. Nothing is like real. Did you even read the disclaimer? And I was like, Um, okay. I'm now free to... You see? Fail error at line 104 in object OBJ uh, slash... Uh, no. I forgot what this uh, symbol is called. Player. See error log TST for more for details. Now this is where it starts to get a bit weird. Now I need to restart the game. Uh, I forgot where I put it. There we go. <clears throat> okay, let's continue. It's a little bit glitched out for now. Like, there is nothing too scary about this. It's just concerning. Wait, okay. That is... Weird. I need to st 
starting the game again. Guess. Oh, so oh, I, oh, I made a mistake. Like I went. If you go to that place, if that's what happens. Like weird sound effect, I guess. That's what just happens. Again, I'm not that experienced when it comes to like games like these. That's just some indie game. Oh, the same happen. Oh, the same thing happens to like here as well. But what do I do? Okay, this is real starting to get really weird. And I'm not even lying. When I say that something is is really weird, I mean it. Oh. Oh, let's do that again, shall we? I think that's when the, like, uh, jump scare starts to happen. The adventure. Play kill? You unlocked a new level. Level 4. Night. I'm extremely creeped out right now, like... But I kind of like the music, though, to be honest. Like, as a musician, this doesn't sound too bad. To me, at least. Because I'm like a semi-professional musician. So from my perspective, the, uh... Soundtrack is like really nice. But the game itself. I wouldn't call it like. I wouldn't call it like amateur, but. You really need to work on some stuff, dude. Script error. Please restart the game. Oh my god, that startled me to death, dude. And I'm not even kidding. That's the point where I simply just stopped the last, the last time I played this. And I'm gonna tell you, like, my tolerance to creepy stuff has gotten way better. Not that I, like, watch, like, scary movies and stuff like that, but, like, this is just, this is just not that scary to me anymore. But, like, something about the, about, like, the soundtrack just doesn't feel right to me, dude, like. I think that's where we have another jump scare. No, we don't. Shut up, I'm making a video. I think this is where things start to really escalate. To like the point where it has escalated so much that you really can't make up for it anymore. Like, imagine getting a birthday gift so bad that you don't even, that you don't even want a, the person who gave it to you to just take it back and get you something new. 
That's what this feels like. Like, dude, you can't. This thing is so weird. I don't even know where to start to describe this. Like. Oh, man. Um, jump scare? Kinda. I'm going to start this again. You will die. I remember this. Everyone is gonna die. The advent. I think this is the last, like, escalation point, like, where it, like, escalates to, like, a point where it can't anymore. Um, shut up. Um, I'm starting to get a little worried that you guys might be traumatized. From this video like this just is, this is just so eerie I don't even know what to do now like shut up I'm making a video shut up shut up if I miss this video up I cannot do it again Yes, if if this video me gets messed up, I I literally can't do this video again. Because if you try to delete this, it will like stay at where it's at. Like you can't just restart the game. Honestly, I don't even know what's the point. Oh, the window is called die? Dude. What the actual F though? This game is like so, so creepy. Creepy like if I was younger, and playing this game, I would literally be in the corner crying, dude. Wait, why does it keep doing this? Like, I don't even know what to do to like progress further into the game. Wait, for how much have I been recording? It's been 18 minutes, dude. I've been playing this game for almost 20 minutes. Shut up, Viber. I think we should go... I still don't get it. Dude, like, what am I supposed to do now? Shut up! I'm making a video! I think you have to go to like... This 
far down as... Okay, what the actual heck? This is getting a little annoying. You know what? I'm gonna do this, okay? Even if this game wants me to die, I'm not going to. But I still don't quite get the point of, like, what this thing wants me to do in order to win this level like no matter where I go oh looks like we've reached some point that it doesn't close the game <coughs> I know there's gonna be a jump scare over here How do I know? I just know. Hello, Musify content. This is so specific. Now it's gonna show a jump scare. Okay. Are these potatoes with teeth? Like, what is this? This is genuinely kind of creeping me out, you know what I'm saying? But I think that this might be the end of the game. To be honest, like, based on what I've seen in, like, like playthroughs. This might take a while. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm genuinely creeped out right now. I I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. It's been 23 minutes. What do I press to like skip this? And what is that? That, I can tell you that that is not my IP address. That doesn't even look like an IP address. Like, what is going on? What is this thing? Tr what message is this trying to con to convey? Oh my god! I sound like like a literature teacher. mouse doesn't even show up on the screen to like genuinely I'm asking myself what is happening are we so is this a code that we're supposed to type no it's not What is happening over here? 
How long does this thing last? Is this just the end of the game? Can I just turn this off? Like, I've been on this screen for like past two minutes. What am I supposed to do? I'm just spamming random keys on my keyboard. Just to get out of this shit. Not that I'm scared of it, I'm just... Weirded out, like... Dude. Like, why? Do I just... Is this just the end? Let me go check, like... The... Give me a good second, guys. at the playthrough just to like like the official playthrough like that is by the original creator of the game and just skip to Yeah, I think that, I think I just have to. To like end this whole thing. Using. I guess that is it. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Goodbye. And also, thanks for helping me hit over 75 subscribers. I remember we started the year off with like 24. Can you believe this? Yeah. It's a huge improvement. Thank you guys for that. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye.